Hello everyone. This is another short story done from their newly renamed Mock-Up Mondays. As before, this is a prompt done by Pixelwolf over on Twitch. This week the words came from... Me? Well, isn't that snazzy. They were... All-consuming, gleaming, opposing, wing, electric, jiggly. The Hunt Callie filed off the Sobek Three with the other vacationers, the bright sun starting to rise on the horizon as their guide turned to them. I'm so glad everyone could make it today. The Xenos was a lanky specimen, their voice coming from the tablet they had typed into. Callie glanced around, comparing herself to the surrounding crowd, which was filled with far more Atraxi than any other race. She felt like platform shoes would have been a solid choice for this, even knowing what she'd signed up for. The guide was a typical member of the species. It was her height and then half again, spindly, with vines that had wrapped into long, vaguely humanoid limbs, with a smooth head, no mouth or nose, but it did have photoreactive eye spots. They had two stalks poking out of their head like horns, though she'd been around Atraxi long enough to know they were simply very tightly closed flower buds. Now, I know for some of you, the hunt is old, for some, even a tradition, but I am delighted to see so many new faces here as well. Their skin began to darken as more rays of the sun fell upon them, and in the natural sunlight she could feel the others shifting with excitement around her. So for our newcomers, today the salt depths jellies rise to the surface, and must be pushed back, or they bring the tide, and with the tide the hunger that lives in the depths. So the first colony learned, so their teachings pass on to us. There was a rustling around her, and the air felt charged with tension as the scent she had long ago associated with the near-sacred intonation of First Colony. So we must spear them and carry them to the nearby island. Then the festival can truly begin. They gestured over to where the racks of gleaming biometal stood nearby with another, slightly shorter Atraxi. Please go over to where Key is. They will measure you for the wings and spears. There are enough for everyone, so do not rush. Several hours later, Callie felt herself exulting as she flew through the air, held aloft by the biometal wings, their green hue glinting in contrast to the blue-violet sky that she and the others zipped through. The slate-gray sea beneath them had begun to roil as the purple-red splotches began to form, as though the water itself were bruising. As the first of the bubble-like red masses broke the surface, she saw the glint and sudden speed as the nearest of her flight companions shifted into a dive, long spear crackling to life. She felt her excitement rise as she tilted herself forward, feeling the sleek wings above her narrow. Her speed increasing, she began to plummet towards the now roiling sea. As she grew close enough to smell the salt and strange flesh, she pressed the button on the spear watching as electricity sparked along the dual prongs. She leveled out, using the speed to skewer one of the blobs that rolled on the waves, watched as it flailed outward with lashing stingers until the spear met the nucleus inside of its body. It twitched, then fell still as she zipped across the waves, shaking it loose onto the sandy island that had been selected. As the day wore on, she tried to match her compatriots, calling out encouragement to them as they flew. A sudden loud note sounded through the air foghorn-like as she saw all pulling away from the water, and then saw the depths surging upwards, as though the sea had decided to oppose the sky. She urged her wings upward as the massive wave formed, the scent of the sea, but now also something else. Brine? Yes, but now the deep scent of sulfur and long decay. Something was beneath that wave, and every instinct in her screamed to fly higher, higher, anything to get away. She could see that everyone else was doing the same as the wave moved towards the island, which had taken on an almost tart-like appearance, the mound of jiggly jellyfish on it like jam to the sand's gleaming crust for a brief moment before the wave crashed down, 
leaving not even a single grain of sand. A cheer rose up from those with voices, and the strange scent was banished by the light peppery smell from the Artraxi. And as one, they began to turn, flitting back over the sea to where they could see their own home away from home waiting for them. The circular complex near the massive solar spire that dominated all Artraxi colonies felt more like a beacon to guide their way. They had kept their promise to fight back the all-consuming depths, and would now be rewarded with a month of sea and sun. She could already imagine the joy when she flew for pleasure, and let herself roll in the sky, the last rays of the sun propelling her to shore. I hope you enjoyed that. The artwork this time is from Cupie Art. You can find them over at Twitter on the links below.